When I was reading uh, the Gene Keys around Gate 61, I found this quote and it said that inspiration is when we stop worshiping God, we and decide to become God. And if that wasn't like one of the best ways to capture the energy of this week, I don't know what it was. Because we're really working on releasing this timid energy, right? Where we lack courage. And we're stepping into this energy of order. Not just that organized structure type of order, but like that authoritative um, direction that you were giving yourself, right? Um, like when somebody issues an order, um, it comes from an authoritative place. So it's being in authority to yourself and giving those, those instructions and direction that's needed to guide your external manifestation and the direction that you go in life, right? Whereas when we're timid and we're lacking that courage, we tend to allow other people to place their ideals onto us about what is right and what we can and can't do. So with the week's theme being really focused on stepping outside of those lim self-imposed limitations, we really have to ask ourselves, what limitations do we buy into and really push past those boundaries? And it might be from somebody else, or it might be something that you've just kind of adopted and learned over the years that is just an illusion that you've bought into. Um, oftentimes when I'm working with clients, um, we'll be discussing problems and it's a very two dimensional way of seeing things and it has to be a this or a that. And there's nothing in between. So really testing out those possibilities and asking yourself, well, what else could be a solution? What else is possible? So if you're stuck in a job, for example, that you hate and you are ready for a change and ready to shake that up and you're looking for new jobs, we will limit ourselves in the positions that are available. We might stay in that same field, whereas there are tons of transferable skills that we have that could be moved over and applied to different um, different fields, right? So we, we really limit the scope of possibilities whenever we focus on, oh, well, I've only ever done this thing. Um, and then we talk ourselves into saying, oh, well, they would never accept me. I would never get that job. I don't meet the qualifications. I don't have that experience. Instead of really asking yourself, well, what's possible? and looking deeper and exploring those other fields of um, careers that might have those transferable skills that you're able to move into. And that's just an example. We do this in so many different ways throughout our life. Um, so it's important to really question those structures and limitations that we're imposing upon ourselves this week and start to step out of it. Again, when we hit that moment of inspiration, we've pushed past those boundaries. And then we are able to step into that authoritative control and direction of ourselves and decide what it is that we're going to create in our lives. Um, when we become God versus worship God, it's where we're really taking that ownership of our desires and deciding to act upon it and make it come true. And this isn't just a mindset shift. This is an action and lifestyle shift. You're developing those habits that you need to sustain you in that new goal space, right? That new desire space. And really looking at how those old limitations impacted you and kept you stuck back there versus what new boundaries you can expand into to really sustain you and help you manifest that new experience. So question everything. I believe nothing is true right now and really ask yourself what else is possible, especially if you're stuck in a this or a that scenario. Um, look beyond that and come up with as many possible solutions as you can. Even the ones that are unrealistic or unlikely um, can be the thing that sparks the inspiration to help you see beyond those boundaries and find a attainable solution. Good luck.